Okay, here's the first section of a new piece for electric guitar and piano. The group that commissioned it is Kubin, K-U-B-I-N. I used this cipher to select those notes. And if you play it quickly, 5-8, it starts to, since it's missing only two notes to be a pentatonic scale, um, it sounds an awful lot like the vocal music of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Yeah. There is an additive process I'd like to use where I go five, six, seven, eight. So this from here is just the same thing backwards. And that could be an interesting loop. I'd like to try to figure out how to maintain a two plus three feel. Um, we'll see how that goes. The melodic material that I'm going to use, the alpha motive, sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. And then another possible additive process I could use is right here. Five, 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 four, six, five, five, three, seven, five, five, two, eight, five, five, one, where I add a note or a beat rather, uh, at the beginning of each phrase and take one away from the end and shifts the, um, the balance around a little bit. That can be very exciting rhythmically. That's the first section. In the second section, here it is. I'm using those pitch classes um, from the remaining 12. And it's mostly a camage scale with D as the root. But here it is with C on the bottom. And I was comparing it to the Balinesian gamelan because it sounded the same. And as I found out, it looks like it has the same, uh, similar, not same, similar interval class vector, which is why they kind of feel the same maybe. There's the camage scale starting on the seventh scale degree. And here's the gamelan. They both have a really cool, calm feeling. Um, but I came up with this accompaniment groove. It sounds like this. And then material for melody. I'm thinking I'm going to have Francesco use Ebo here maybe. And so on and then a possible melodic extension etc and then of course I really love the idea of the bass line moving in half notes again it's camage um, so a D in the bass it really feels like the root and then I have a tritone between Te and Mi, seventh and third scale degree. I think pushes it forward. There's going to be a lot of energy in this, even though it has a nice slow four forward feel. The third section is going to be another contrast. Again, I'm using the remaining tones of the 12 um, between the first and second sections. Uh, after the first and second sections, all I have left are 3, 4, 5, and 11, which is very dissonant. I'm not really interested in using that much dissonance. Um, so I am adding the 9 to soften it. It's going to be very fast, very aggressive, and very asymmetric rhythmically but I'm gonna keep this groove going this time as opposed to the first section, which is five eight with you know adding eighth notes and taking away eighth notes. This is gonna stay steady. It's just that it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, alternating with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. So that's gonna sound like this. I'll try to play it. And then the melody, 
of the melodic content. However, that's going to lay out rhythmically. I'm not sure what that's going to look like yet. It's going to sound like this. All right, there's the first half of the phrase. is all of the material for a new piece for guitar and piano.